Yeah. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Natia, and we have also Natia. Yeah, I'm standing in for Tia in the way that I don't know what the f we're doing. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked what we're doing. We're doing an unboxing and first impression of the new KRK GoOx 3 and GoOx 4. But Jason, you asked. What the f is the GoOx? Well, Nelson, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. The GoOx are KRK's brand new 100 watt powered portable studio monitors. It's pretty much designed to be a high quality studio sound on the go. Oh. Yeah. Wow. The, yeah. It's the, a lot of power in your yeah. pocket. So much power that it comes in either a three inch or four inch model. Both pairs also include a decoupling stand and a carry bag. Oh shit. Yep. However, whoa. Only the GoOx 4 has a oh, built-in dory. Come here. This wouldn't be me on this show without my big fat fucking dog. Yeah. Oh so, my god. This big girl just got surgery. She's doing well. Yep. She's great. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's dory. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> The GoOx 4 also benefits from several additional features, such as a measurement mic, a built-in automatic room correction technology that optimizes the speaker's response to the current acoustic environment. It also trumps its small arrival by offering USB and a quarter-inch TRS balanced stereo output. Oh, does it now? Yes, it does. Ah. So, Typically, this is where I would say, onto the sounds, isn't it, Dory? Put that one to the unboxing! All right, so here we go. Onto the unboxing. Yeah. Oh, right. So what I got here, it's, uh, it was actually shipped to working class music here in where we live. And what, what, what's, what's, what's this that I've got here? You are unboxing the GoOx 3. They sent us out the GoOx 3 and the 4. For this video, I wanted to do something a little different because we're both using them for two different applications. Yeah, I'm so. gonna use these to edit working class music uh, for sure for the foreseeable future because the speakers that I spent my money on aren't as good because they weren't fucking free. Yeah, and I've been using them more so to kind of mix old demos and write new music. So, yeah, I've kind of had a, a bit of an impression on I wanted uh, Nelson to have that. this unboxing moment. Look at that, KRK. KRK. Let's get this shit out of here. Ooh, nice box. Okay, ooh, I like this. Ooh, it's a box that was in a box that's got a bag in it. Boxception. I love the carrying case. Yes. I don't need to cut this open. So what we got on the side here is uh, the cables. It's fucking awesome. I would prefer these instead of the little little, little frayed wires oh, that yeah, I have the to bar stick wires. in the back. So that's nice. Awesome. Oh. I'm guessing this is something that goes for like a balancing stand. Yes, that goes to the stand. Okay, so you got your power cable here. Got your speaker yeah, but cables. What's, what's in the box? It's a bag. Papa's got a brand new bag. Hey, hey. get up off this phone. All right, so you got a little, a little quick start guide. Gonna do this real quick. Now those are the stands. Okay. Ooh. And they're adjustable, uh, which is cool. So you can tilt them at a different angle. So uh, that helps in terms of. Uh, you know, kind of projection you want. Okay, yeah, they're, you see, they're movable. You get the little thing in it. Yep, and that's what these yeah. are for. Okay, I love that you can like tilt them forward depending on what you're doing. I like to have my speakers tilted forward when I'm watching movies. Mm -hmm. So, that's a cool thing. It's cool as f Got two of those. Now for the part you've all been waiting for. What are these speakers? Look at these, look at these little badass motherfuckers. I think I've gotten our swear count to the highest it's ever oh, been. Yeah. I love it. Oh boy. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. 
It's kind of like uh, the regular Rockets. I think this is kind of like a a newer step for that series. I, think. I love I how yellow the inside of this bag yeah. is. Well, no, that's KRK's thing. Like, yeah. If you notice, it matches the cone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Matt, wow, look at that. And these, these are three inches. Mm -hmm. It's not the size that matters. It is how much power these things can crank out. And honestly, the fact that they are so small, it's not the size, it's how you use it. And I will be using these things to the fullest extent of the law. I like that they got a little headphone jack in there. You've got your volume on the front. I like that. Uh, a lot of speakers put the volume on the side, which I don't like because when I move them around, it like when it's on the side, I have to keep one in a certain area so I can reach the volume. And that's, uh, that, uh, that's an inconvenience that I will not stand for any longer because I don't have to because I got these sons of bitches right here. Got these babies and I'm all powerful. He's become God. I have. He's become drunk with That's 100 right. watts of power. That's right, baby. 100 watts. Look at that. And look at this stuff in the back here. All these, all yeah, these so settings you have right the here. controls right yeah. there. You got a high frequency, low frequency. And the Bluetooth pairing. Yep. Button. Oh, the Bluetooth. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, you've got your aux and you know, your lefts and rights. And like I said before, I f***ing hate the little frayed wires that you just clamp in the hole. They're never fun. You don't have that with these. Yeah. You've got actual, like, actual cable holes to put it in. All right, they tell you where That's to put the said. thing and you stick it right in there. That's what Boom, she said. big sound. That's what she said. Big flavor. That's what she said. Flavortown USA. That's what she said. In these speakers, all right? If you have these speakers, you are a god. So. <laughs> Yeah, obviously Nelson's first impression is very enthused. I love getting stuff. Yeah, I've had the four inch model and I've been using it to make music. And I guess for me, this is gonna kind of be a first impression slash final thought. When Cameron approached us about this, I didn't know how we were gonna do this video because for one, I'm very particular about my studio monitors. Oh yeah. And uh, I was a bit apprehensive because one, how do you accurately capture what a studio monitor sounds like on camera? You can't because most people are listening to it on their phones. Yeah. So we kind of decided to skip that and we realized that if you go to like a music store, you'll probably be able to hear it there. And yeah. that'll be a more accurate representation of how they sound. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts for um, having them for like a week or so. Yeah. Yeah, so immediately once we got them, I took the four inches out and I just started making music. Um, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, uh, that's what I did. I just took those four inches out and went to town. Yeah. And that's what I did. And like, uh, there was some questions that I, at first setting it up, like especially with the adjustable stands, I was hugely surprised because that's a, that's an oversight that a lot of companies don't take into account. So adjusting yeah. the speakers to the room felt super easy, super nice, easily got it dialed in. Once I started making music on it, the one thing that I was super blown away by, and I told Cameron this, was the low end response Ooh. for a four inch speaker like with a couple other brands you don't have that like in particular like the m audios or the sterlings like the 3.5 inch speakers don't really have a great low end response yeah they're basically glorified computer monitors okay however with the goox i was pleasantly surprised because they handled music very well yeah um they have a nice flat response but still had plenty of low end so i'm lo i'm looking at the high frequency and the low frequency eq how is this adjustable? Is it? Oh, it's a button. Yeah, it's, it's a button. button. It's gotcha. just a, it's just a preset, ah. and, that, and that's the thing. It and makes it's adjusting. got little things on the back which tells you what the light is on where you are. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that makes it easy to EQ to the room. Yeah, and I like that a lot. So for me, like I said, it was easy to set up out of the box, and you know, we're making this video because it goes back to our rule of thumb: if we don't like something, we won't do it. And oh, but we like this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I pleasantly like that. And I, I encouraged Nelson to get those to ver yeah. um, video editing because I was making music in it. And I, we make videos about music. Yeah. So, I mean, it works. It works. It works. It works. Yeah, I guess my final thoughts are they're amazing, especially um, if you want to use them on the go. The fact that they're kind of travel sized and you just do your thing with them. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, I'm going to give. I'm going to give these. The working class music, Bumblebee stamp of approval. I make these d 
stamps every week, I should get to name one. Yeah, you get to name one. Yeah, hey, all right. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want, leave in the comments uh, if you want to hear the remix that I did with these. Yes. And I'll link a SoundCloud to the video. I'll probably do that anyways, but just, you know, let me know. Um, you guys are going to want to hear this song because it's f***ing awesome. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, wasn't, it, wasn't it Bjork? Yep, it, it was, was a Bjork. cover of Bjork. Yep. I did a Bjork cover and uh, I did it with these speakers and oh. I'll leave that linked below so you guys can check that out. You know, this is our first unboxing. Our no, first it's not. Well, no, it's our first like unboxing, unboxing. Like We did take a box out of a box. Uh, yeah, unboxing, unboxing. I mean, we unboxed the, 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 uh, the, the blue pedal yeah. and then the, the pizza pedal. I mean, I wasn't on for either of those. This is my first unboxing, yeah. and I hope you like it. And I hope you like me. Leave a comment below and let us know if you want to see more Nelson and Xander in these reviews. Yeah. Because we would like that. We're the guys I, turning the wheels, and spinning I need a the vacation. cogs. I, I need a vacation, a much yeah. needed vacation. So let me know if you want me to be uh, in more of these videos so that I can make more of these videos and so that I can make more money. Because as Jason said before, we love money. We do. And, uh, you know, we do do it for the love of the game, but a trophy now and then is pretty f***ing sweet. So, with that out of the way, it's yeah. closing time. This is actually on Sweetwater right now. Sure so is. you can get it with our affiliate link. Use that, please. Yeah, it won't cost you any extra money. Kicks us back something nice so we can keep on making these videos. So, you know, if you're gonna buy these nice little things anyway, just use our yeah. affiliate links. What um, are you doing? Also, You're leaving money on the table also social media we do have patreon we have merch get yourself some nice working class music shirts we got new merch coming we do we do other than that well i've been nelson the guy that's usually behind the camera and i hope you like uh me getting up here and uh doing the damn thing we'll do more nelson based episodes. probably yeah it's very late and i haven't had dinner yet and i'm sleepy as fuck, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess we're just going to close this and let us know if you would like to see us set up a studio on a budget. If you'd like to see one of those episodes Ooh, and then yeah. we could use that for that because that would be tied into that. Sure so let would. us know if that's something you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be in touch later. Sure will. Out of here. Yep. <laughs>